Welcome back to the YouTube channel, everybody. I wanted to announce, before we get into talking about the clutch kits and everything, I wanted to announce that I'm starting a new YouTube channel. I already have uh, three others. I wanted to start another YouTube channel and slowly move my CF Moto stuff over to it. Um, it's going to be called Performance Power Sports. So anything we do like power sports wise, we're going to do over there. And anything we do garage related, we're going to do over here. Um, for the time being, I'm going to upload the videos to both channels. That way we give it time to grow and mature and do its thing. So from here on out, definitely check out Performance Power Sports. Because that's where we're going to hold all of our uh, CF Moto content and all that stuff. But like I said, we're going to get into uh, uploading videos on both channels. The same videos until we can get that one to grow and get everybody familiarized with it. So it's going to take some time. And we're going to work on that. We're going to see how it goes. It might flop. It might soar higher than this channel's doing. So everybody's had a lot of questions about clutches and the jerkiness of the 400s, the 500s, the 600s, the 800s, the 1000s, whether that's a C-Force, Z-Force, U-Force, the jerkiness, the, the jerky, you got to rev the throttle up. Well, I want to let you guys know that Main Street Cycle actually is selling clutch kits for all those things that will help with that. Another thing, though, depending upon the situation, you're riding in, whether it's uh, mountain climbing, uh, rock climbing, or mud bogging, that's going to depend upon what setting you really want to put your secondary at. So, with that being said, you need to ask yourself this question. Do I really care about throttle control, or do I care about the power in the mud? Because... Yeah, you're going to want a clutch kit basically regardless, and a lot of you are going with taller tires. So you're definitely going to want a clutch kit regardless. But keep in mind, the lower the RPMs you go to engage that clutch, that's less performance that you're going to get in the top end of the RPM range. Now with a clutch kit and a spring and all that stuff, yeah, you're still going to gain some in the top, but... The higher you can keep your RPMs, the more you are in a power into the power before the clutch grabs. So a little bit of performance loss, but also performance gain there. Clutch kits can go all kinds of different ways, so it's really hard to explain and take into account what people actually need. So I'm going to focus on uh, people who really mud ride. Um, somebody who wants to go... From their stock size tire up to say two more inches so say if you got a, a 26 you want to go up to a 28 or a 29 or a 30 or if you got a, a stock tires and like a 25 you want to go up to like a 26 27 or 28 or whatever the big key here is to reclocking your secondary reclocking the secondary actually makes up for this the bigger tire and it keeps you in a lower gear longer so what i recommend basically for every mo make model of machine uh in this in the cf moto realm um whether it's a c force u force or z force you can't go wrong with b2 or even b3 if you really want to be aggressive now if you're that type of person who occasionally mud rides but you road ride so you want to be able to still do 50 60 i recommend clocking to c1 because c1 will get you the low end torque that you need to do the minimal mud riding that you're doing but it will also allow you your top speed with c1 you really only lose about 10 miles an hour regardless of what you do to your clutch you will never gain top speed you will always lose top speed because how CF motos come from the factory, they're already basically kind of tuned for the highest mile per hour possible. Um, they're not so performance oriented, but they're t 
tuned so you can do 70 mile an hour in a Z-Force, 75 mile an hour in a Z-Force, 50 mile an hour in a C-Force, et cetera, et cetera. So as you change that clutch and the more you change it, you're going to lose. But I, the rule of thumb, um, you lose about 10, 15 mile per hour for what you do to your clutch for the average user and the average uh, mud rider. So really what I like to tell people to do is if you want to keep high speed, clock at C1. If you don't care about high speed and you just want all that torque, that torque monster so you can send it through some mud holes, B2. And if you got bigger tires than what you really need on there, B3, baby. So that's kind of the basics of it. But there is a lot to understand. And I've done a couple of videos talking about it. And I just wanted to bring some information to light for you guys. And kind of, I guess, uh, kind of explain it a little bit better in, in a better aspect that I can. So... Because I get a lot of comments, I get a lot of messages, just overall a lot of stuff. And I want to say that I highly recommend Main Street Cycle for your clutch kits or anything that you need for the CF Moto world. If you're looking for a machine, definitely go over and check them out as well. If you have any questions about the clutch kit, feel free to comment down below and let me know um, what kind of riding you do and I'll be able to point you in the right direction. Also, Main Street Cycle will be able to point you in the right direction as to a clutch kit, a spring, uh, some weights, some stuff like that. So, I do not know if they have kits for every machine, but I do know they have kits for a lot of the machines. So, definitely check them out and let them know. Redneck Garage sent you, and if you're seeing us on the other channel, let them know that Performance Power Sports sent you, aka Redneck Garage. So... All right, guys, that's all for this one. I just wanted to do a, an update, basically, and uh, kind of talk briefly about that clutch, all them clutch questions I'm getting. I wish I could get more detailed, but every user is just different. Not every machine's the same. Not every person rides the same, and it's just different. So I know a lot of people that want the clutch kit. It's because of the jerkiness, and... Uh, that's one thing I wanted to mention before we leave. The jerkiness, by installing the kit, it will take that away, but it won't take it away 100%. If you're afraid of putting in a clutch kit, you can re-clock what I found in the 500 trail. So I can't speak for any other machine, but keep in mind, uh, CF Moto clutches are all almost identical aside from some spring and weights except for the 800 ex and 800 trail um i clocked my wife's to a1 and it took that jerkiness basically completely out of it so also put on some bigger tires and that helped as well too so um that's really that but i do highly recommend the clutch kit for sure but if you're just wanting to dabble and kind of play around, don't be afraid to pull that secondary out. I have a video on that. Just search CF Moto Clutch Kit. Redneck Garage will pop up and you'll see the for the 800s. In that video, I'll be able to show you how to reclock the secondary. The secondary is the same across all models. So don't be afraid to pop your clutch cover off of there. Don't be afraid to pull that secondary out of there and uh, re-clock it to different settings and kind of just play around with it, see what you like. And then after you get what you like, then uh, go chase down a clutch kit if you want. Or a lot of people just buy the clutch kit and don't even mess around with the secondary clutch. That's also a possibility. So there's different ways and different things you can do to the clutch. Just always remember the CF Moto the stock clutch setting is actually B1 on the secondary. So if you ever have to go back, just go back to B1. It's that easy. It's really not complicated. It'll only take you a, a beginner, probably about two hours to do. And that's probably slamming down a couple beers in between there. But don't let yourself get discouraged. Just go in it and have fun. 
I'll ask around a lot of people that thought that they couldn't do it. And I have actually walked them through how to do it. And they messaged me back and they're like, Redneck, I really thought that was going to be harder than that. But I got it done and it's awesome. So a lot of people, I've gotten a lot of messages since my clutch videos about that. The only thing you can do is get her done. Redneck Garage out. Peace. Like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.